So this is my last flute video for the foreseeable future. For those of you who don't know, my name is Ethan Ashley, and I'm currently a third year music education student here at the University of Texas at Austin. Right now I'm enrolled in a course called Woodwind Techniques, where we go over two of the other woodwind instruments that we currently don't know. My main instrument is the saxophone, so I was put on flute for the first half of the semester, and then in two weeks when I turn this thing in, I will be moving on to the oboe. So before I have to hand this thing back, I figured we could go over some of the things that I've learned up to this point. So for those of you who haven't seen my other two flute videos, I was able to play some flute last semester. I took one-on-one -on -one lessons with the flute TA here, and I had a really hard time. This semester, I got to start all over with the basics in this woodwind techniques class, which was a lot of help. It was nice to be around people that were struggling as much as me, and I didn't feel so down about it. If anything, I had a little bit of a step up just because I had played it the previous semester. At first, we did a lot of playing on just the head joint. A lot of this stuff was really hard at first, and just up until the last few weeks, I've been able to do the lip across technique, um, as well as just consistently get that, that A that we're looking for on the small piece or head joint. Because I have such a mile wide aperture, the low register tends to come easier for me. I still have some issues I'm getting my bottom lip forward just so that I can hit those like notes G and A and B flat and B and whatever above that. This is just like on top of the staff. I think the number one thing that I find really hard with this instrument as a saxophonist is just the consistency of where I'm putting it on the face. With the saxophone, it's so easy. I'm just sticking the teeth in the same spot where it's indented on my mouthpiece patch and everything else just sort of falls into place. Um, I don't have to worry about how far it's rolled in, where it is side to side. There's so many variables with the head joint that just make this instrument so difficult for me. This class ultimately isn't just to teach me the flute, but it is to show me how to teach these instruments from a beginner level. In this class, there are other people playing clarinet and saxophone, so even though I'm not playing clarinet at the moment, I still need to be able to teach it at a very basic level, just so that I can teach like a 6th grade class just as I learned saxophone in middle school. For all the actual flute people out there who are curious as to what level I'm at after about six weeks on the instrument, as you saw, I can do the different pitches on the head joint with the lip across technique, and then I can play pretty much down to like C below the staff, and then work my way up all the way to C above the staff. Um, we worked on the chromatic scale from F all the way down to F at the bottom of the staff so I know all of the chromatic scale notes. I don't really know any of the fingerings for the higher notes above C um, that's above the staff. I probably can't even sustain an eight count concert F at like 60 BPM. I'm not even gonna try that because there's no point. The amount of air that you have to use on this thing is absolutely crazy and way different than the saxophone because you have to create your own resistance. It is not made for you. I'm trying to think of what else I can do with this thing. We talked about tuning a little bit. Now that I think about it, I really would like to know how to do vibrato on this thing. Maybe we'll cover that in the last two weeks. It'd probably be a tall ask for me to play any sort of technique. Just getting used to the fingering system, only having six weeks from having to go from C to D is pretty difficult as a saxophone player. I also just have a really hard time being consistent with just everything. I know I already said that, but just being consistent with the placement. In order to get those high notes out, I have such a hard time, even though they're not even high. Like F that you play in band all the time, that's any higher than that in my, I get really inconsistent with getting those notes out. Alright, so like I said, that'll probably be the last flute video I make for the foreseeable future. But for the next six weeks, I'll be starting the oboe, and you'll probably see a few videos about that. The flute was fun while it lasted, however, it's time to move on to the oboe, which I'm sure will have its own challenges.